Aries, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. We are going to tap into your weekly energy reading. Okay, you can have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node. All right. Um, please keep in mind, um, energy is fluid, so reverse the roles as need be. This is a general reading, so take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else to pick it up, okay? Please make sure you thumbs up the video, okay? Drop a comment below. I do talk back. And if you like a personal reading, click the description box below to book a personal reading. All right. Spirit, guides, ancestors, please provide me a message for the collective of Aries. I share. Okay. We're going to get into your weekly energy reading, just pulling the messages, um, pulling the tea. Everybody has been getting a lot of these cards this week. These, these, <laughs> these pop out. Messages for Aries ear, okay. So you do have good news coming in, so be you know be on the lookout for that. All right, you're going to hear something new, get a message or a phone call about some good news. Archway, okay. New opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up for you. I say Aries. All right, <coughs> so things are flushing for you. Uh, worth, okay. Sorrow over a loss. All right, so you may um take a loss. Whether it be physical or material, be mindful of that, okay? Shark, okay? Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth, okay? So, again, take care of yourself. Take care of the properties. Take care of the things that you have. Do the right thing. Make the right moves. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Ashe, okay? A couple people got that card, all right? So, there could be a new business venture that you're going to open up to. Not unsuccessful plan, all right? So, something that you are working on or something that you are doing that's not going to be successful, but you're, you're, it's not going to be successful because Spirit is redirecting you to a different path. Club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will, all right? So, Aries, you know, you're extremely strong. So, you're like, whatever. Horseshoe. Good luck, okay? You got good luck on your side. All right, something about February. So, something is coming into February, coming in for you in February here. Um, someone is behaving stupidly. Someone could be behaving stupidly in February, okay? <laughs> you like, uh, who you playing with? All right, so you have June here, broken wishbone, wish not being granted. So something that you want in June or something that you are hoping to have in June, it's not going to happen. All right, so be mindful of that. Peacock, beware of great pride. All right, so again, you know, watch your character. Um, no matter who you are, what you have, what you've accomplished, you know, always have good character, always be humble, okay? Um, acts, forces working against you, okay? So there are forces working against you. Uh, re my, remember, this is these are messages, right? And you can change this energy, okay? Who did you come up? You came up, um, you came up in somebody reading Aries. It's like you were going against someone, but the only reason that you were going against this person is like this person didn't do anything to you, but there's some type of chaos magic being put on you, okay, or being put in your area. So the person can't get you directly. So basically they're they're creating chaos between you and someone around you because this person is 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 highly protected. So basically it's an ambush, you know, like they're trying to get you to go against this person so that their spiritual team will create some type of loss, right? And, and I'm coming up with it now that I'm here, I'm thinking about this reading. 
I gotta remember who it was, but it's like you're taking some type of loss from going against someone because you're not authorized to do something. But this is from an outside source. It's, it's, it's like you don't even, this person did nothing to you, but because of your, your great pride and your ego, you know, it's gonna get in the way. So be mindful of that, okay? Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend, okay? Mm. Rooster, okay? An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. All right. <clears throat> An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, all right? So, <clears throat> uh, rooster here. There's a rooster in the mix, okay? You, either you're in that energy and arrogant, very boastful, okay? And like, don't play with me, don't cross me, because it's not this, it's not that, or you're going to come across somebody like that misunderstanding yeah there's going to be some type of misunderstanding with somebody okay um you have good fortune here so things are looking good on the finances camel uh persevere and you will overcome the problems tiger doing something risky taking a chance i shake okay so something some plans that you have going on they're not going to go as planned in june because there's outside forces working against you your money is looking good and again you can change this energy so get in tune and, and scrap up put your protection on uh remove any type of chaos if you got any chaos or any thoughts against anybody go and pray about them and ask them to be removed ask your spirit guys to show you the truth because somebody is definitely sending something your way indirectly because they can't they can't um they can't access you straight up okay all right spirit message for the collective of aries please i share It's like the person that they are trying to bring you in chaos with is like being caught in the crossfire. And they don't care. <laughs> they just want to get you. <laughs> All right. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords in Reverse, High Priestess, okay, Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, three of cups, four of swords, got the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Five of cups, queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. The hangman in reverse. Lovers in reverse. You got the five of pentacles here being left out in the cold. Okay. All right. Yeah. And the emperor, which is you, and the star. So there's dealings with an Aquarius. I want to say check out the Aquarius reading here. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. All right, so you got a lot of messages here. Let me try to get through these particular messages here. So someone here is single, right? Focus on their finances, but then you know they do want love, but they want a they want a solid commitment. Okay, um, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your energy. Doesn't have to be. Um, this could just be the energy what you want. You want a masculine energy. You want a solid understanding. You want someone that's emotionally in tune with their star player. So you're coming out of the energy of just being focused on what it is that you're doing and you're focused on some type of connection here. But there's no balance here, okay? There's no balance within this situation or something is off kilter here, all right? Um, four of Wands, you see stability in this person. You could be the stable individual, but you still see stability, okay, um, within yourself. But even coming together, you still may have to carry the load on your own. Um, you still have to carry the load on your own, so you're feeling very burdened about this. Like, you want stability, right? You want to be, you know, loved, and you want these things. Like, you, 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 
gotten the money aspect now now everything else okay so i feel like <clears throat> you're very stressed okay and in your head you have the hierophant here so you could be praying about this or you could be dealing with the taurus right hierophant represents taurus all right so you could be dealing or stressing over the situation you could want marriage okay you could just want to move forward uh with with life and, and be married okay so you have the chariot card here so i do see for movement you know um being determined to make something work okay um taking action right for your fulfillment taking positive movement here um to some type of happiness okay this can also re represent marriage okay hierophant long-term commitment or long-term marriage so you're just like i'm just taking this action i want what i want right um i want to see something change i want prosperity in my life i want to have all of my cups filled right so things happening new and in, 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 in money okay uh, you have the uh, Ten of Cups and the uh, Ace of Pentacles here. So this could be marriage and business. So this could be some type of business, business opportunity that you're going into with someone, okay? Um, hoping that something else come out of it or whatever it is. Like, like there's some... some feelings that are not being revealed here some 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 feelings right yeah boom, boom. <laughs> there's some feelings that are not being revealed here but they will be illuminated right so the moon talks about illumination lighting up the dark places you know having you show who you truly are so someone is definitely in their head seeking and got seeking enlightenment and guidance on this situation on what sh what they should do in reference to uh the situation should they go forward should they have a relationship okay you could be giving someone an ultimatum like yeah i want to go forward but we need to be married and that's if, if i go forward okay um what i will tell you this well this is what i'm hearing here okay so if it's not on proper intentions, right? So like it like you could be going into business with somebody, then you want you really want more than that, right? You start out like that in the beginning. Just let them know, look, <laughs> this is what I really want. You dig? <laughs> and, and they can say, oh, I don't want that. And you can go into a mission and say, okay, well, let's do business and then try to bring them in that way. But again, it's going to crumble, right? So you rather have it crumble now than later because later your feelings will be involved. Um, but someone is contemplating really heavy on a relationship here. Uh, someone wants success, wants someone to give into this particular connection. Now, someone here has been working very hard, okay? Um, focus on achieving something, okay? Focus on, on achieving um, a particular goal. All right, so you could be focused on a particular goal here, all right? Just feeling like, man, this is just... You know, repeated process, and, and and I feel like whatever you're trying, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you want in love and in money, you just want it to look different than it has looked in the past. Okay, um, repeating cycles. You know, not really seeing. You know, a reason to go for it. All right, step into your energy. High priestess energy here. Some of you guys are very much into the occult, into sp like spiritual workers. You're very in tune with your higher self. You have Pisces. Okay, uh, possibly in your moon. Okay. But someone is just very in tune with themselves, right? And so you have to align yourself with that, all right? Um, you may have uh, situations around you. Uh, someone has been around you, and it's just friends, right? Uh, we're just friends. You're not focused on the love portion, you know, just hanging out. Let's make something happen. You know, in your love, you, you know, you were sitting that to the side, like, I don't even want that. I'm just chilling. I'm healing. I'm growing. But you miss love. You miss the thought of love. You miss the thought of being one with self. And someone is just ready to just grab it all, right? Someone's ready to grab it all and make something happen. Now, your lovers is in reverse here. So it's kind of like you don't have the right choices, okay? Or you, you're like, I'm out of choices. Like, these people plan. I agree. It's it's pissing the dating pool. But there's your energy here, okay? So you're standing in your ashe, emperor energy. You know what you want. You're going out to get it, and you're in healing mode, okay? So this could be, how flip it how it resonates, right? Either someone is going for it now with the relationship, trying to get someone to give into a relationship, looking for success, or you did that in the past, and now you're just focused on business and getting your money right, 
it, okay? However this may resonate, right? <laughs> flip it, flip it how it's supposed to go. But whichever energy that you're in, you're you're focusing on fulfillment, right? Um, all I can say is if you are in the energy of coming out of this situation of being by yourself and wanting true love, be straight up in the front and up front because if this situation plays out right here that came out on the side and you <clears throat> go within a situation as like friends or as business but you know that you want more from that and you're not straight up with this person i don't care what it is and how much spiritual work that you do with the high priestess here it's going to crumble and i would prefer you know you just to not set yourself up for a, a, a particular you know moment to be used or to be uh, played with because you know you put someone in a certain certain energy i feel like you know love you know love being love bomb you know um it, it, it kind of sucks right but being in a situation where you know something isn't playing out the way that you expected to play out you know years later that just it brings some type of anger right um, I don't care who you are man or woman you know especially when you've invested a lot into something and it doesn't go trust me I know <laughs> so just be mindful that you're making the right decisions you know don't sit in the energy of this is what I want and I'm going to get it by any means necessary because what's for you will be okay um Aries you are the boss so you know it ain't too many people can really deal with you on your level in, in in real life anyways right um just because you're so well put together and you know because you're so um you know you you just you're amazing in every aspect when it comes to you know putting a business together plans knowledge growth you know, intelligence, like, you know, it's like the whole package, you know, like breathing new life. So make sure that this person aligns with you, right? Um, not just they might can be. I'm just saying, Ashe.